Joining me now is 2024 presidential hopeful and Miami Mayor Francis Suarez. Mayor Suarez, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Brittany. You've entered the presidential race, a very crowded race. It's filled with past and present governors, senators, and even a former president and vice president. So my first question is, why are you throwing your hat in the ring? I'm throwing my hat in the ring because I have a unique, positive, inspirational, and aspirational vision for this country. And I also have a unique set of skills to solve the generational challenges that this country faces. I look different, I sound different, uh, and I can also bring different people to the Republican Party, not just to win the 2024 election, but to win a generation of, of elections. I think I can attract more Hispanics to the Republican Party. I think I can attract more young voters who we lost to President Biden by 26 points. I think I can attract people in cities where I converted my city from a plus 30 Democrat uh, to a plus 10 Republican, a 40 point swing. And then I can bring in uh, you know, swing voters that are very important in a presidential election, like suburban women, uh, to my message. And I think, you know, I think for those reasons and for many, many more, I think our offering of my candidacy is one that is special and different in hopes that uh, will attract, uh, you know, the Republican Party and, of course, the nation to support a, a Suarez presidency. I do want to talk about what you described as that unique set of skills. Right now, you serve as Miami's mayor. Reports say that that role is largely ceremonial. And a Florida congressman, Carlos Jimenez, agreed with that characterization, and he did recently say this about you. I don't think that he's qualified to be president of the United States in any way, shape, or form, and quote, he has very little power. So first, I want you to react to that. But second, do you think you have the experience that it takes to be our commander in chief? In droves. Uh, I can tell you that, uh, you know, the past presidents have had zero government experience. You've had presidents that were uh, U.S. senators for not even two years uh, who served uh, two terms. Uh, running a big city, which is a billion dollar company with 4,500 employees and four labor unions, is not easy. Getting elected by 85 percent and reelected by close to 80 percent is not easy. Um, you can ask any of the mayors in America. I just became the president, uh, finished my presidency of all the mayors in America, which is another qualification that I have. I've been to all of the major cities in this country and the smaller cities in this country. So I understand this country in a way that I think no other candidate does as well. Listen, the big problems of this country are the following, our deficit, right? There's no candidate in the field, none, that has cut 20% from their budget like I have. That is exactly the amount that we have to cut from our federal budget to balance it. Okay, the, the courage and the skills that it takes to make that decision doesn't depend on the number of zeros. Okay, so that is just a skill set that a person either has and an experience that they have or they don't have. I'm the only one that has it. You can't tell me that dealing with immigration, uh, that a Hispanic Republican president won't be in the best position uh, to be able to deal with that uh, with that issue that is multi-decade and multi-administration. There's a lot of people that are in the field right now who haven't been able to solve that problem. So I think I have a unique set of skills. And then confronting China, which is the economic challenge and the national security challenge of my generation. There is no candidate in the field that has pre-positioned or repositioned their ecosystem in a way to deal with uh, generational economic opportunity like I have. We're number one in the nation in wage growth, uh, we have the lowest unemployment in America, uh, and we have number one in tech job growth. No one has that record. 